Date, a porno mag at your feet. What? Wow. Hunting with Date. Hello, everyone. Welcome on in. <coughs> it's time to solve some mortar. I guess. I am looking forward to what's gonna happen next, but, um... I don't really remember where we left off, exactly. So that'll be fun. Oh yeah, there's an Odyssey, wow. Right, the game does Odyssey. Forgot about that. It's convenient. <laughs> okay. I understand why there are zero escape sound effects, but I'm not gonna be able to get over it. It's like, huh, <laughs> zero escape sound effects. Right, that stuff. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm. Thank you for the reminders. Right, she was in the car seat. Um. You look like you want to say something. I don't want to say anything. Okay. I don't want to talk to you. Right. I don't want to talk to anyone who thinks my daddy is a killer. Okay. Look, I don't want to believe it either. I've known him for more than five years now. He's like family to me. I never want to put cuffs on him. And we never want Mizuki to see that. Anyway, Manji just isn't the kind of guy who would commit a crime like this. Hmm. I'm not sure about that, but I also don't know him. Um, when was the last time you saw your dad? Speaking of. I think about a week ago. Hmm. When I went to hang out at Lemon Escape. Did you notice anything different about him? Nothing really. He was the same as usual. And he didn't come to see you in the hospital, did he? No. Damn. Not even for his own daughter. Shameful. That is very unusual. When was the last time you spoke with your dad? I don't remember. It was a while ago. What about you? What about me? You tried calling him. I did. I called earlier, and I tried a few times last night. And he didn't pick up? Evidently not. No. Hey, about the Nile message. Mizuki. Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? <laughs> it was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. If daddy needs your help, please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. It was from daddy's phone. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... I mean... So you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? Mm -hmm. I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki District. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime right there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. Fair. About the Nile message. But it couldn't be him. Mm -hmm. Why not? Daddy couldn't have sent the message. But. Someone else must have used his phone. Okay. And his car. Okay. Daddy wasn't driving the car either. Right. Somebody else did it. Mm -hmm. The killer did it, not Daddy. Uh huh. The only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okiura. No, I wanted to ask the other question. Damn. Date, incoming call from the boss. Connected. Hey, I just got the report from Iba. Renju is a suspect? He's definitely suspicious. I agree. I think he's our number one suspect. He's been acting strange since 
last night. Well, of course he is. He didn't come see Mizuki in the hospital, won't pick up his phone, and he vanishes after questioning. He doesn't have an alibi for the time of the murder either. It doesn't? No, not one we can corroborate. You weren't aware of the car, but you didn't consider the possibility that he got kidnapped or otherwise extorted. Mm -hmm. Did you release him? So Renju was questioned at a local station? That's right. Then why didn't you keep him there? Protocol. Nothing we could do. Mm -hmm. He wasn't a suspect then, and we had nothing to charge him with. We couldn't hold him. Fair enough, I guess. That Renju's alibi. Shoko's time of death was estimated to be about 5 p.m. yesterday. Renju claims that he was at home alone at the time. Nice, yeah. see. But that means no one can back up his story. Yeah. Where is he? Any idea? No, I told you he vanished. Great. Where are you headed? Uh, somewhere. Renju's house. Don't bother. I had local cops search the place and they didn't find anything. <sighs> Where could he be? About Renju's questioning. Much to say at all, really. Well, I guess he busts through my left eye. I both streaming the material time. I don't have this cell phone. Never cared for them. But I could connect to the network and range. That's convenient. That's how I'm able to communicate with HQ. Give me the key. I'm gonna I'm talking to Bluetooth. She doesn't see what I see. to see. Yeah, hang up the phone. Alright, boss. Let me know if you find something. You too. Keep me in the loop. Where the hell did Renju go? Uh, sun poke? What? <laughs> okay. Not only did I mean to say exactly what Dante said, but like not at the same exact time, no less. Sunpoke, or something. Oh, Sunfish Pocket. Renju was telling me about that place. Mm. It's a maid cafe that he runs. Of course. I found it. Approximately 6.2 miles north northeast in Akihabara. Naturally. Sunfish Pocket, Saturday, 10 20 p.m. Wait, there was just a. I just noticed there was like a 999 ad right next to the sign for Sunfish Pocket. That's great. It can't be. Hmm. That's not good. Wow, Mizuki gets no breaks, huh? Renju! Hmm, his left eye too, huh? You know, as awful as that is, points for creativity. A body has been discovered indeed. Police headquarters, Sunday night, 17 a.m. You know what's funny? Is that originally, like, my plan was to play all the way through Saturday. So, like, if I didn't, like, run out of steam when I did, that's the note we would have left off for last stream. <laughs> uh. We're down a suspect. Up a body. You look awful. Have you been sleeping any? 
Well... My best friend was murdered, boss. I don't have it in me to sleep right now. Fair. Would it be appropriate to look at the fishing flag right now? Flag with big catch on it. Yeah, I feel like that's very inappropriate to look at right now. Police officer mannequin. I see car. Volleyball. Soccer ball. Tanuki. Silver restaurant door curtain. Well, being also murdered doesn't mean he's innocent of a previous murder. <sighs> but the fact that he was murdered in presumably a similar fashion, with also his left eye missing, I feel like that absolves him of suspicion of the previous murder. But that's just me. I, okay, I'm gonna stop looking at the everything. I feel like it's counterproductive at this point. Um, Pewter. Why are you here anyway? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Am I not allowed to be here? No, but like, why? No, I didn't mean it like that. I was here first. I see. I was just talking to the boss about Renju's murder. Fair, I guess. You seem troubled. Two murders, one right after the other. How could I not be? Yeah, that's fair. Any thoughts on the culprit? Renju had his left eyeball removed. Yeah, I noticed that too. Right. Shoko too. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. Hello. You're missing your left eye. Mm-hmm, but... So you steal them from others. Peter, the fuck? Like, honestly, outside perspective in, I definitely see it. That's a fair line of logic. However... I'm kidding. Only a joke. Bad joke, because, like, once again, outside perspective, I can see this connect that connection. Like, especially since he's close to both of them. I'm too tired for your jokes right now, Peter. Hmm. Actually, you lost your eyes six years ago, correct? That's what we've been told. Yes, but I don't remember anything from back then. It's not even a joke, it's just me. Yeah. I lost my eye and my memories. I was transplanted into your empty eye socket a year later. We have been together for more than five years. Wow. Peter looks surprisingly serious. <sighs> Okay, hi boss. Um, how about you getting any sleep? Of course not. Yeah, okay. I still got a mountain of work piled up, answering to the higher-ups, the press. I'm just taking a little breather. Fair. What happened to Mizuki? That's something I want to know. She's sleeping at the hospital. Just back in the hospital, huh? They're going to give her counseling after she wakes up. Uh, I mean, I'd hope so. I see. Like, she was down a parent not that long ago, now she's down the other. Like, not looking great for her. Her mother and her father. Yup. And she got to see both of their dead bodies. That's, I feel like that's, mm, I feel like in some ways it could be worse, but in other ways, like, sense of closure type thing. Either way, sucks. Sucks to be Mizuki right now. I hope she'll be okay. Pretty easy to assume she's going to be targeted next. Yeah. About Renju. You were the first on the scene, so you know this better than anyone, but... Renju was murdered. Uh-huh. Thank you. No way this is a suicide. Yeah, no. Not a chance. And the fact that his left eye was removed tells me that this was the same killer as Shoko. Yep. The serial killer. Do you need to kill more than two people to be a serial killer, or do I not know enough? The new Cyclops killer. Mm. What? That's the nickname that's been spreading around headquarters. Of course. 
<laughs> you mean if it was a suicide, you'd have to give him props? You know what? That's fair. New. No. Yes. Several years ago. Pewter. <sighs> there is no point in hiding it from him. He would find out on his own eventually. It's all over the news. These murders have gone viral, so to speak. The killings from six years ago have continued. The Cyclops killer is back. Six years ago? Is that what you were talking about, boss? <sighs> Fine. I suppose you deserve to know. Thank you. About the incident six years ago. We have a name for it down at HQ. The original Cyclops serial killings. To distinguish it from this new one. Uh-huh. It was six years ago in October. Four bodies were found in the mountains of Akikawa Valley. But the decomposition of the corpses were all at different stages. Interesting. They were each killed sometime during May to September of that year. But they did have two things in common. I imagine they were missing their left eyes. They were all young women. Mm. And... Each corpse was missing their right eyeball. Pulled out posthumously. I see. Interesting. Cyclops. A few days after the corpses were discovered, the killer sent a statement to the press. Naturally. I killed them, and they are now my dear companions. Something like that. Hmm. He signed the statement under the name Cyclops. I see. Hence the name, the Cyclops Killer. Makes sense. The Cyclops is a mythological race of one-eyed giants. Thank you, Iba. According to Greek myth, they are the children of Uranus, god of the sky, and Gaia, goddess of Earth. Your anus. Cyclopes were known for their outstanding strength and smithing ability. So the letter to the press wasn't a fake? It was the real killer? Yes, it had to be. A picture of one of the victims right after she was killed was sent along with the letter. Yeah, okay, I would say that's damning evidence to confirm that. Um, was the Cyclops captured? I'm willing to bet no. Yeah, okay. No, in six years we never got a single trace. So maybe Cyclops is responsible for these murders as well. No, that's impossible. Um... Why? For one, the original Cyclops killer only killed women. Renju doesn't fit that profile. <laughs> You're right. Correct. Renju, the man, is not a woman. Thank you. Second, all of the victims had their right eyes removed. Maybe Cyclops is trying out something different. You don't know. But Shoko and Renju... We're missing their left eye. The timing of the eye removal is also inconsistent. Mm. The original Cyclops killer removed the eyes after the victims were killed. But Shoko and Renju were both still alive. But even so, you can't say for sure this isn't our guy. Maybe they're just doing things a little differently now. If I were a real person, you wouldn't think anything of the Greek mythology info dump. But given that this is a work of fiction, you feel like that was a Chekhov's gun thing? I don't know. Or do you have another reason? I'm sorry, Date. I can't say anymore. <sighs> Annoying ass. Bullshit, you can't. It's a national secret. How can it be a national secret? Date, please, forget about it. I don't know, man. I think it's kind of important to know. I told you already, you don't need to know anything about that case to investigate this one. That's sounding less and less likely, and I feel like the more deaths we get on our hands, the more you're going to need to tell us anyway. The criminal for this case and the case six years ago are not the same. Why? Is it because Date is one of them? Iba, bring up all investigation records of the original Cyclops serial killings. I already had a look through the database while you were talking. Naturally. Unfortunately, I found no relevant information. Damn. She wasn't lying about it being a national secret then. I also did not discover anything of note on the internet. Only amateur theories. Mm -hmm. 
all lacking credibility and evidence. Naturally. Damn it. Any other information? That's all we have for now. Great. All right. Special Agent Dante, we need you to continue your work. Right. I think I'll head back to where Renju was found, Sunfish Pocket. Dante, you're exhausted. Why don't you get some sleep before you continue your investigation? You're not my real mom. I'm fine. Let's go, Iva. Understood. Will you? I'm trying to find Japanese definitions of serial murder, serial killer, etc., etc., but couldn't find the anything. The vehicle is accelerating two percent slower than usual. Okay, Iba. Um, but according to Wikipedia, a serial killer in general is someone who's murdered two or more people. So, oh, okay. I feel like usually when you hear about serial killers, it's usually more than two people. But good to know, a serial murder is at least two. Two or more. Did you put anything in the trunk? No. Hmm. Totally don't see anything in the rear view mirror. Nope, there's nothing there. What about the back seat? No, there's nothing in the back seat. What are you talking about, Iba? Back seat? Hmm. Mizuki! Hey, watch out! Eyes forward, stupid! Okay. Mizuki climbed up to the front and sat on the passenger seat. Hi. So, how are you doing? Well, I can still talk this time. That's good. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Probably. Mizuki's psychological wounds have been healed by the sink. Nice weather we're having. If you have nothing to talk about, you don't have to say anything. Okay. Fair enough. You're an adult, shouldn't you know that already? Listen. If you start talking about the weather, it means you have nothing to say. Damn. What a brat. <laughs> um, so, how did you even get in here? It wasn't locked, I just opened the door. God damn it, I was about to say, like, if you better not say that you just opened the door, and yet... <sighs> I've been here for like ten minutes. <laughs> Why don't your doors have auto locks? I know you like old cars, but you've got to lock the doors. Okay. You should be a little more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. Mm, I, she didn't get caught breaking into the car, though. She got caught being in the car. Mizuki does raise a valid point. Yeah, there's that too. If you are not more serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. You too? <laughs> You were talking to yourself again. I heard you. Don't worry about it. It's creepy. You should cut that out. Yeah. I was talking to Aiba out loud before I noticed Mizuki in the car. That must be what she's referring to. Mizuki is still unaware I exist? Yeah, I know there's no reason to hide it, since she already knows about Abyss. But it's just... hard to explain. I'll just pop Aiba out and then explain. Iba can introduce herself. Easy. I won't say anything yet. Okay. Understood. But I am ready to be introduced at any time. Of course. Just let me know when the time is right. It's not a proposal. No need to be so formal. Date. Shit, I said that out loud. Mm-hmm. Date, I think you should go to the hospital. <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? I ditched the hospital. Yeah, I'm not surprised. They're probably freaking out over there right now. Probably. I'm taking you back. No, don't! Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. Yeah, but, like, you're a kid. Sorry, kid. You're going to investigate, right? I mean, yeah, but. Take me with you! I can help! You're an actual child. How is a little runt like you gonna be any help? I'm Renju's daughter. Okay, yeah. And. Maybe I'll notice something you don't. Something only his daughter would know. Okay, that that's fair. I don't know. My daddy was killed. Mm-hmm. So is your mommy. I can't just stay at the hospital. Okay. My artificial eyeball also harbors an artificial intelligence that assists me in my job and hinders my social life. Done. <laughs> <sighs> Fuck. 
fine. Don't say I never did anything for you. You're going to take me along? Just promise not to interfere with the investigation. Got it. Do you want to catch the suspect? No, it's more like I don't like sitting still and moping all day. Valid. I've grown out of my brooding, pretentious teenager phase. I'm not sure about that, but... Odd thing for a preteen to say. <laughs> Are you not aware of Mizuki's mental prowess? She is far more developed than her classmates. I bet that's not a good thing. Also, usually not necessarily true. She is even reading psychology papers by Alfred Adler. Heh, <laughs> nerd. Sounds pretentious to me. That too. Um, about Renju. Hey, about Renju. You know, your father. Do you have anything to tell me? Anything at all that might help? Well, it's not about Daddy, but... I heard from Daddy that Mom had a secret. Gasp. Shoko had a secret? What is Shoko's secret? Did you know that Mom was the representative of an investment company? No, but I also barely know your mom. At least me, personally. Dante probably knew. Yeah, I did. That whole company was a big scam. Oh boy. A scam? Well, I don't know the details. Fair, you are just a child. They start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. Well, sounds like they're playing the capitalism game, all right. She got really rich like that. Yeah, capitalism. Shoko did this? Yep. By herself? No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. I saw gangsters there sometimes. Oh boy, gangsters. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. Fair. I am scanning all known crime databases, but I cannot find any reports referencing this. Hmm. They must have been extraordinarily careful. Probably. Anyway, glad you're okay. I'm not okay. I mean, for the fact that you saw your father dead yesterday, I'd say you're doing pretty alright, sweetie. So, you want to go back to the hospital? I'd be more than happy to drop you off. That's not what I meant. Okay. Why are you always so pushy, Date? I don't think Date would be Date if he wasn't. I'm not pushy, I'm just worried. You've got a weird way of showing it. Yeah. Doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. Yeah. You've always got something smart to say, huh? Yeah. Preteens, am I right? You're just like Renju. Date. What about Daddy? You just like him. Nothing. You have no tact, do you? Nope. This is why you're single and always will be. I mean, probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I, I'm not sure about that, Dante. I think the kid's right. I look like a single father when you're around. Chicks love it. Uh-huh. Yeah, chicks love to see creepy old men hanging out with a sixth grader. <laughs> hey, what are you implying? <laughs> Ooh, did I make you mad? Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. I am not an old creepy pervert. And even if you were my age, you're not my type. Ew, I don't want to know about your type. Hey, you started it. Stupid old man. <laughs> Punk ass kid. Beautiful. I love their bond. Nyom. Yeah, it's a 999 ad right next to the second floor sunfish pocket sign. Beautiful. Makes me wonder what year this game supposedly takes place in. Mizuki and I walked back into sunfish pocket. Oh, Detective Date. Good to see you, sir. Uh-huh. And this is... Don't worry about it. Have you looked through the case file yet? Oh, oh, I am so sorry. She's the victim's... Yes, please let us through. There's a little X on the ground. Wow. It takes place five years ago. So, 2019?
Yeah, that's how math maths, right? Yeah. Yep, okay, interesting. Hmm. Actually, that's very interesting, because that means, like, the events of Robotics Notes and then this game, like, take place at the same time, allegedly. An evidence marker. It's a little marker that's uh, put up to track evidence at the scene. Shocking. Beer keg. Angie's corpse is hung up by three wires. The wires were tied to three kegs. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. Three beer kegs on the floor. Each can hold 20 liters and weigh 55 pounds when filled with water. Interesting. Table. Menu. The store's menu. Dragon's Palace Pasta. 1800 yen. 1800? Isn't that pretty average? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This is average? Yeah, I know, Date. The economy's fucked. The store's menu. The table. I can't find any clues on it. A chair. This place is up on the second floor. There's nothing out the window. Alright. Oh, security cam. Iba, did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, no. Damn. All of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. <sighs> Imagine keeping up with a serial murder case and then all of a sudden the city goes into a massive blackout in your room but tries to kill you. <laughs> oh god. What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. Hmm. So there's no footage of the incident. Convenient. There are pictures of girls on display. Probably the girls that are working here. What are you staring at? Creeper. Oh, okay. I agree. Wow. Pictures of maids on display. Yeah. I registered near the doorway. Okay. A barrel made of wood. Nothing special about it. A big anchor. Jellyfish lights. I love a good theme. It's a light that looks like a jellyfish. Probably not a clue. Probably not. This club is located on the second floor of the building. We use the elevator to get here. Iba, can you check the operation records of this elevator? Searching. Found it. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55 p.m. Mm -hmm. The weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. Interesting. I'm status. Yeah, nothing special. Mm hmm. Well... Officer's guarding the doorway. So the elevator only stopped on the second floor once last night, 8:55 p.m., and with about 310 pounds inside. Hmm. Box. I looked inside the wooden box. There's nothing in there. Damn. Empty wooden box. Is that a spear? It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. I believe this is a trident. Any chance this was used in the murder? No. There are no traces of blood on the trident, and no indication that Renju was stabbed. Fair enough. This oil drum must be some kind of interior decor. The capacity of this oil drum is 200 liters. That's a lot of liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Damn. Let me check inside. Is that a watch? There's something inside. 
I stepped up to the drum. This is the oil drum. Mm hmm. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. And watch. This is. This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. Mm hmm. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? I wonder if maybe they transported his body using that oil drum and then his watch like fell off in the middle of transportation. The corpse was strung up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. But no traces of that have been found in the area, nor on the corpse itself. Mm. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. I already suspected that. Hmm. It must have been considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. What do you mean? Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. Mm. I can estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Okay, Aiba. Iba, can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Of course. Don't you weighed about 160 pounds? He was definitely murdered somewhere else than carried here. Hmm. The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. Okay. It is a common sedative. The dosage uh, found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. Hmm. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. That's nice. So sedatives were detected in Renju's body. He was barely conscious before he was killed. Right, his neck. There are deep impressions left on his neck. Strangulation? Correct. The face shows clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. Mm -hmm. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. Mm -hmm. Put more simply, the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Do we have an estimated TOD? Yesterday, around 8 p.m. So Renji was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. Hmm. The time of discovery was 10.20 p.m. You of course already know this, but you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renji's corpse. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. Yep. A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints. Interesting. The left eye has been pulled out. This case bears similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. I think we've checked everything we need to. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. Places you can think of that I don't know about. Well, there is one place. Yeah. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the entertainment district? Daddy used to go to a place called Marble a lot. Hmm. 
Maybe they know something about him. Okay. You want to talk to Iris? Yeah. Daddy owned Lemniscate and Iris works for them. Mm. She used to work here too. Oh. So she might know something. I'll call her. Mizuki tried calling Iris, but there's no answer. That doesn't make me feel great. Have any idea where she might be? I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. Fair. You wanna talk to Oda? Yeah. Oda is in here all the time. He might know something. Is he now? I'll call him. Ota's phone is broken. He dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. <laughs> We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemniscator Matsushita Diner. Let's head out. Lemniscate, Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Let's head out. Okay. Hmm. Let's go to Lemon Escape first. Yeah. No specified time on Sunday. Probably because it doesn't matter exactly when. Hi there, boobs. Excuse me? I cannot even right now. Are you a good receptionist? Hold on, give me just one sec. Mizuki, do you know this guy? Uh, yeah. Can you introduce me, please? She is surprisingly unprofessional for a receptionist. She's just resting boobily over there. Don't mind her, Ibo. Come on, it's just... Not so bad. <laughs> Could you contain yourself for five minutes, Date? Um, let's ask about Iris first. Have you seen Iris? Iris? You mean Aset? She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. Okay. Oh, that's why she didn't pick up the phone. Fair. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. No. It's fine. This can wait until she's done. For sure. What? <laughs> For sure? As in, I got you? <laughs> I don't believe I've ever heard that sequence of sounds spoken out loud before. No, Iba. Mm. Do you happen to see Ota here? Ota? Nah, I haven't seen him today. How is he? The receptionist knows Ota too? I mean, naturally. Ota happens to be the kind of otaku who actually has social skills. I see. Those are the ones you have to watch out for. <laughs> huh? Nothing. Anyway, could you give me a call if Ota shows up? I have my number here. I took out my business card and handed it over to the receptionist. Yeah, I got his number. Let us pray that the privilege will not be abused. Um, what's gonna happen to the office? No, oh, haven't heard anything about that yet. The VP might take over, we might get absorbed by another office. Just when I got a job, too! Man! What am I gonna do if this place closes up? So, anyway, tell me, Date, what kind of girls do you like? Not in front of music key. Because I'm the committed type, you know? Would you consider me a candidate? Hmm? I'm pretty sure he would. Well, I... I... We could go out sometime. <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> music key's pout. Her puffed out cheeks. So cute. You disgust me. Oh, come on, Aiba. Oh, uh, my apologies. Never mind. It's been pretty serious around here lately. Yeah, totally. You never think about, like, my boss getting murdered, you know? I mean... Like, what are even the chances? Uh, apparently higher than one might think. That's, like, 
the odds of hitting the lotto? Probably not that low, honestly. But it was kind of lucky, in a weird way. Mm -mm. Some of my old friends hit me up asking about it, you know. Feels like we're old alumni or something. She certainly found the bright side of this situation. Indeed. Okay, well, music key. Do you know this receptionist? I mean, yeah, but... Yeah, of course we know each other. We're like, best friends. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but... We hang out, we party. Mm -hmm. We do not party. Hey, hey. <laughs> Who hired this woman? <laughs> the most likely scenario is that the final decision was made by the head of the company. Renju. All right, well, let's go. Mizuki, let's go. Staying here would be a waste. Yeah. Where should we go next? Uh, I guess we'll see a diner. Hopefully Yoda's actually here. Meow. Still unspecified time Sunday. Hello, welcome. You're Mizuki, right? Oda's friend? My ticket is not here, huh? Yep. And you... Oh, I suppose I should introduce myself more formally. At least something a little more than flashing your badge. Yeah. My name is Konami Date. Mr. Date, what can I help you with? Counter. The counter. Okay, anyways. Is Oda here? He went out early this morning. I don't know where. Hmm. I see. I took my business card out of my pocket and handed it to my Yumi. Sorry to be a bother, but when Ota comes back, can you tell him to contact me? Oh, well, sure. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, got it. Date, let's go somewhere else. Yeah, let's go. Golden Yokocho. Is this it? Yeah. You know about this place? Snack Maburu. Yeah, Snack Maburu. Okay. Yeah, this is where I met Renju for the first time. And this Naku Maburu? Interesting. Didn't think this was your kind of spot. This place is special. You can find all sorts of shady characters here. It's the best place for gathering information about a case. Fair enough, I guess. So that's why. Mm -hmm. That is only a partial truth. Shut up. <laughs> huh? Let's head inside. Oh boy. Ah, that's... Where is everyone? Good question. It's been like this for a while. Not many people come here anymore. Fair enough. Mama should be here soon, though. Mama? Okay. In other news, at 6.10 p.m. yesterday, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. Damn. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. Fun. Bottles on the counter. There are bottles lined up on the counter. Let's count them. <laughs> nine. Nine bottles. There are nine bottles on the counter. Just kidding. There are 18. That's how many there are. Let's count carefully. 
There are 18 bottles lined up on the counter. Amazing. The bar counter. That's a menu. It has writing on the back. Man, I could use a drink. No, you're driving. <laughs> Can't you just drive? Indeed I can, but I refuse. Okay. Why? Nothing good comes of you being drunk. Fair. Their bottles have alcohol on the shelf. And beer top. I don't want to get drunk. I just want to be sobriety impaired. <laughs> Allow me to ruin your stupid joke before you say it. It's not stupid. <laughs> a beer top. A refrigerator. A hey, Mizuki. You mind cleaning some of your stuff out of the fridge at home? Not gonna happen. Okay. A picture on the wall. It's a little odd. Mm-hmm. And specials are written on the chalkboard. Slippers and tomato soup. Specials are written on the chalkboard. There's a poster on the wall. The talented Mr. Dickley. I wonder what that is. Uh-huh. A flyer. A sofa. There's a table in front of the sofa. A hanger on the wall. There's a TV on the wall. Date, what was that weird show you used to watch? The one with the girls running in slow motion. What was so good about it? Hmm. Everything. Uh huh. There's a TV on the wall. No, Date. There's music playing over the radio. <laughs> Are you tired? No. And what do you mean by that? Nothing. Just let me know when you're tired. You can go home anytime you want. You aren't really worried about me. You just think I'm annoying, right? Don't beat around the bush. Just say it. But you know what? It wouldn't matter anyway because I'm not going home. Okay. It's been a long time since we did this. Did what? Sat at a table together like this. We haven't eaten dinner together in a while. After I finish working on this case, we should do it again. Why? Because of what happened to my mom and daddy? I don't need that. Date, this is where you need to take a stronger role as her guardian. I mean, no one else is there to do the job now. Data suggests that children who eat alone are prone to mental imbalances and poor physical condition. The meals you prepare do have sufficient nutritional content. Sufficient, hmm. However, you need to make sure that Mizuki is eating all of it. Otherwise, your effort is wasted. It's not good to force people to finish what's on their plate, though. In this game, we should have- should at least have one meal together. I told you, I don't want to! Why not? Because... Um... I don't like how you hold chopsticks. It makes me sick. I had to think about that for a bit, though. Really, no. People have always told me that I have good technique. Some even say it's beautiful. I am that day. It's disgusting. Too clean. Hmm. Besides, there's no point in eating together. No, there's a plenty of point. Why is that? Because you don't talk when you're eating. I don't like sitting in silence. You know what, that's fair. Well, we don't have to be quiet. It's fine, I don't like hearing you talk either. <laughs> Okay. I believe she has entered her teenage rebellion phase a year early. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Having fun at school? It's okay. Is it? Yup. Do you have a lot of friends? Yeah, but I don't really like my elementary school friends. They're too immature. I have more fun with Iris and Ota. Hmm. 
I don't know if they're too immature. You're just very mature for your age. You think so? Yeah. The kids at school are so stupid. They gossip about who had their first kiss for days. Yeah, typical middle schooler shit. I don't see why that's anyone's business. Yeah, it's typical middle schooler shit, Mizuki. These grade schoolers move fast. <laughs> nah, no, not really. It's pretty normal nowadays. Yeah. Well, you... You haven't kissed anyone yet, have you? No, I'm not interested in that. Oh, thank God. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> about Renju. Hey, Date. What did you and Daddy used to talk about when you were here? Hmm. Huh. I don't remember a lot of it. I was usually drinking pretty hard. Shocking. Don't worry. I have everything recorded. Oh, boy. In fact, the conversation about you taking care of Mizuki took place here, at Marble. Really? The topic was brought up several times afterward, but the first time was here. Four years ago, after drinking enough liquid courage, Renju asked you to take care of Mizuki. I see. At the time, Renju was recently divorced, buried in work at Lemnisgate, and mentally unstable. It was a display of excellent judgment. It was a good thing that he managed to swallow his pride. You think so? Sometimes, I don't think it was the right move. You should have more confidence. I guarantee you that it was the best decision. Let's hope so. Hmm. Oh. Dante, honey! Long time no see. Hi. Hey, Mama. How have you been? Oh, tired and sore, but not in a fun way. Mood. <laughs> Watch the innuendo in front of the kid. Oh, who is this? Renju's daughter. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, you're... I... Oh, it must have been hard. I saw on the news. It's okay. Really. Oh, it must have been so hard. Stupid Ren. What was he thinking, leaving his little girl like this? Oh. Hey, Mama. I wanted to ask you some questions about Renju. Oh. I guess crying isn't gonna solve the thing, is it? No, not in particular. Especially not in this case. Go ahead. Ask away. I'll help any way I can. Okay. This type of trope, huh? How's business? Not bad. Hey, that's good. I want you to keep this place open as long as you can. It makes me feel sad and old when a place I used to visit closes down. Well, then you should visit more often. Fair. I could hook you up in more ways than one. <laughs> Not surprised. Just the one way is fine, thanks. <laughs> Was Ranji a regular here? seen him for a while mm -hmm. I thought I was going to shrivel up and die of boredom without you boys around shrivel up you look like a purple water balloon okay Dante that's little <laughs> that's right care to give me a poke I'll pass thanks all right about Renju have you heard any rumors about Renju anything about grudges disputes is it okay to talk in front of Mizuki? Yes, I want to be here. Trust me, you couldn't drag her away. If you say so. Apparently, Ren had some connections with the Kumakura gang. A gang? The game needs to tread lightly, but you're loving Mama so far. Yeah, like... If I recall correctly, Mama falls under a specific character trope, but it's not a trope that I personally see often, so I don't really know enough about it, though I'm pretty sure it's a trope that, like, leans more, you know. Yeah, so hopefully Mama is... leans the good way. Yeah, real rough customers. This is their turf. Hmm. 
So Daddy was involved with gangsters. Azuki, that company Shoko was running, were they also tied to the Kumakuras? I don't know. Hmm. Mm. No miss polishing a dried bonito fish. The dried bonito fish. But bonito is just tuna. I am confused, but okay. It's part of her daily routine. Come to think of it, I have no idea why. I think I'll ask her one day when the time is right. I can look at these things again. There are bottles lined up on the counter. Your top. Hey, Dante. You hear the one about the drunk ballerina? No. What about her? She quit the ballet because she was always more interested in tap. <laughs> I see. This is a painting of Saint Sebastian. Hmm. Saint Sebastian was a faithful Christian who lived under Roman Emperor Diocletian. On January 20th, 288 AD, he was martyred. This painting depicts his execution. I see. Something wrong, Date? You're staring awful hard. Nothing. Just caught my eye. Why now, of all times? That's been hanging there for a while. Really? Yeah. It was a gift from Ren a while back. Interesting. I've always had it there. Hmm. Gulp. There are a lot. There are bottles of alcohol on the shelf. Fried slipper with herbs was the special. Didn't read that one. Um, one flew over the cock's nest. Hmm. Sounds familiar, but I don't know what it is. Oh boy. Oh, Mama. What are you doing back there? Excuse you? We're afraid you're not honestly does look kind of like Mama. I... Yeah, I see it. And there's music playing over the radio. Is this your first time at a place like this? Yeah, I mean, at some fish pocket they served alcohol, but... I've never been to a bar like this. Well, I would hope not, you're in elementary school. Well, Daddy invited me along sometimes, but I was too shy to go. I see. Good call. I was planning on going one day, when I was old enough to drink. I wanted to go to a bar with Daddy. Uh, <laughs> I see. Are you scared of mom? I don't want to ask it, but... Not really. Good. Oh, don't worry, honey. I don't bite. I'm only aggressive when it comes to men 20 through... Mm, 65. That's quite, quite the range, mama. That's a pretty wide range. Gotta widen my net for a catch like you, Date, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll ignore that one. I think I'll ignore it as well. Fair. About Mama. I heard that shady characters hang out here. So who are you and how do you fit in? No one special. I'm just a facilitator. A facilitator? People who come in here tend to have very specific interests. I help accommodate. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Mama's like, uh, an informant. That's right. And I won't charge you this time. Mm. Just promise to get the bastards who did this to Ren for me. That's the goal. Right. What's this for Ren, Drew? I promise. <sighs> what else do you remember about Ren, Drew? Well, there was the watch incident. Oh. I'm sure you remember that one. Watch incident? You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Damn. 
Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. Interesting. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Fair. Was it this watch? I pulled out the watch I had in my pocket. It was the one I found in the oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Yeah, that's it. Why do you have it? Was it at the scene? Ren was given that watch by his lover. Mm -hmm. It was an anniversary gift, I think. Lover? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot Mizuki was here. No, it's fine. But of course, it wasn't an affair. This was all after he was divorced. I see. Daddy had a new lover. Hmm. I'm going to the bathroom, I guess. You remember where it is. Yeah, outside, right? This is a small establishment that does not have its own restrooms. Wait, you're leaving? Oh, <laughs> scared of me, huh? No, it's just... um... Mama, keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Don't have too much fun in there. I gave her a nod and a wave and left. Iba, get boss on the line. Got it. What's up? Mizuki is at a bar called Marble down in Golden Yokocho. Send someone over to pick her up. She's not at the hospital? Uh, yeah, she snuck out. I took her along while I was doing some work, but I can't take her any further. Understood. I'll send someone. Counting on you, boss. Are you going to leave Mizuki here? Yes. Mm -hmm. I can't take her into a Yakuza den. Y yeah. Yeah, don't do that. Specified time, 3.22 p.m. at Kamakudo office. Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? You bastard! <laughs> Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? Oh boy. So, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? Cop shit, you know. I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's MoMA, the war horse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. What do you know about the new Cyclops serial killings? Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura had their left eye pulled out and were murdered. And I think you know something about it. Saw it on the news. But we had nothing to do with it. Even if we did, we wouldn't spill to no cops. I mean, fair. Desk. The chairman's desk. What does a guy like the chairman need this for? He probably just uses it for porn. Not every man in the world is like you, Date. He's pacing on top of the desk. A bronze dragon. A bronze dragon holding a golden ball. Hmm. Golden ball, huh? A dragon holding a golden ball. It's kind of frightening seeing all these lanterns lined up. Scary lanterns. Scary lanterns. You don't have to repeat it. Okay. There are lanterns with Kumakura written on them. A Shinto shrine. The Kumakura crest. Kumakura. Blah, blah, blah. Another dragon. 
I'm dragon holding a golden ball. A window. Meow, yeah, window. There's a locker near the window. Some kind of permit. And a company of philosophy on the wall. If you accidentally enter a bar instead of a restaurant, don't feel obligated to order a drink. Even if the bartender gives you that order a damn drink look. That's quite the motto. Indeed. Company philosophy on the wall. Company philosophy is like a summary of the ideals and goals of the company. Interesting. Last month's schedule is written on the board. 21st. Inko Kin's beatboxing for beginners. Last month's schedule is written on the board. Okay. Tiger rug. Hey, I have a look. A flying squirrel taking a nap. It is clearly a tiger. No, no, that is right. Tiger rug. Mm, let's not talk to him. It's a desk. Probably belongs to someone of the gang. There's a ton of things on top. Lockers are lined up on the wall. It's a partition set up by the doorway, probably to obscure the view from visitors. Hey, Iba. It's pronounced partition and not partition. I know how it's pronounced. Alright. Chair. Okay. Where's the chairman? <laughs> what? The chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. You aren't the chairman. Yo, asshole! You need a lesson in manners? Date, wait. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. Damn. He leapt to his death from the roof of a building. That's suspicious. A suicide? But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Well then. Six years ago. Hmm. Okay, let's start with Shoko. Don't know nothing about her. Okay. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. Probably gonna say the same thing about Renji, aren't you? Shoko is part of an investment fraud scheme. And I have it on good authority that a certain Yakuza gang was helping her. Wouldn't know nothing about that, cop. <sighs> about Renji. I told you. I got nothing to say. You deaf or something? Maybe. Date, a minute, please. No. What is it? Do you see the sofa in the reception area? Yeah. There is an ashtray on top of the coffee table. Mm hmm What about it? It is peculiar. Thermal imaging reveals that they are both warm. Hmm. The sofa and ashtray. One of the cigarette butts. The tip is reddish. Hey, Iba, can you turn off the thermal vision? Sure. I see. The cigarette brand is Klein. Why is that relevant? Small details will come in useful later. Trust me. is still red. Just as I thought. Weird, but okay. It's the kind that knives nicely at night. It just might. Hello. Knife on the floor. Okay.
I'm not sure about talking to either of them. He has a keyboard too. And a phone. It's a telephone on the desk. Keyboard. Okay, anyways. Was there someone here recently? What are you talking about? You're the first guest today. Uh-huh. Although you are an uninvited guest. Don't lie now. Someone was sitting on the sofa and smoking very recently. How do you know that? I just do. Oh, right. I remember now. Just a bit ago, one of our guys was on the sofa. Are you talking about these guys right here? Yeah. Not possible. When I came in... You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. Who's this asshole? Neither of them was on the sofa. And neither of them was smoking. They left. Who left? Uh, an insurance salesman. Right before you came in. I don't think so. I didn't pass by anyone on my way here. And I happen to know this office only has one entrance and one exit. Which means, whoever it is, they're still in this office somewhere. Let me check the back. Why you want to do that? I think he made it pretty clear why. I just wanted to say hello to our guest. I'm telling you, you're the only one here. Oh, then you won't mind me checking. Just get out of here, cop. There must be someone they don't want us to see. Yeah. Somewhere behind that wall. That's certainly a figure. Just as I thought. This must be whoever was sitting on the sofa and smoking earlier. My revolver can shoot right through this wall. I should shoot him. Um. Wait! Hmm. Is he not getting enough? What? Never mind. The person behind the wall is unarmed. I cannot approve the use of revolver in this situation. Damn it. Oh boy. Date, a porno mag at your feet. What? Uh oh. Hunting with Dante. Hey, did you just shoot at me? No. Uh, where did that come from? Hey, whoa, wait a minute. Or dragon statue. Date, load a revolver with explosive rounds. Aim for the dragon's gold ball on the right. The what? Oh, that. Why? Just do it. Okay. That's certainly something. I see. Hibba. Hibba. Okay then. Anticlimatic, but okay. Iba. 
You saved me. Everything happened as I simulated it. So, where's this porno mag? God damn it, Dante. You idiot. There is no adult magazine. However, I know that your reaction time is up to 3.6 times faster when you are excited. Uh-huh. I simply took advantage of that behavior. Fair. What the hell? <sighs> You're a grown man. Aren't you too old to be playing with toys? Shit. Hey, coward. I see you. Show your face. I know you. At least someone here does, because I don't. Sejima, so, Congressman. I see. What is this guy doing here? Well, what are you doing here? I've had a relationship with the Kumakura since back when Rohan was running things. Okay. I had business nearby, so I stopped here for a visit. Whatever conspiracy theory you're imagining in your head, you can forget it. This is strictly business. Strictly business? A congressman meeting with Yakuza? How are you gonna spin that? It's true. I imagine my public image will be dragged through the mud. But we haven't done anything illegal. Illegal, huh? If you want to accuse me of such wrongdoing, then by all means. I just happen to think such gossip is better suited for tabloids. About Renju. The president of Lemnisgate? Mm hmm. We aren't friends, but I did meet him a few times through work. Makes sense. What work were you doing to meet up with the head of an entertainment company? It was just some party hosted by some company or other. It's not unusual. All right. Events with those uptight stuffed shirts can be rather dull. So they have some young women from an entertainment office attend. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we only saw each other a few times. I don't even remember what we spoke about. Do you have an alibi? I went to work, then went home. So no, got it. So, you have no alibi? No, I always have my bodyguards near me. Where are they now? If you want to, you can ask them. Bodyguard testimony can be unreliable. Mm, not surprising. There is a possibility that they would lie to protect Mr. Sejima. I agree. I can't trust that. Okay, well, back to you, little shit. Do you have an alibi? Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You've been asked a hotel. They'll tell you. Date, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko, including Moma. Good to know. Mm, about Rohan. I heard that the former head of the Kumakuras committed suicide last year. Yeah, what's it to you? Nothing at all. I just want to talk about it. Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. I see. Six years ago, he, uh... He got sick in the head. He got sent to a special hospital. Mm. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. That's all I'm gonna say. Right. You wanna know more? Hire a private eye. Okay. 
That's about sure, girl. <sighs> well, I guess there's no point hiding it now. Indeed. I lied earlier when I said I didn't know her. Shocking. I thought so. You and the Kumakuras were a part of the fraud scheme Shoka was organizing. Yep. Whenever any wise-ass investors gave her trouble, we handled it. Exactly as I suspected. Shoko was affiliated with the Kumakuras. And now about Renju. I've been looking after that guy since high school. It was the usual stuff. I had him help me with a lot of work. But now, it's kind of the opposite, you know? We're getting work from him. Well, we were. Now that he's dead, though. What work did he have you do? Eh, the usual. If Talon at his office was causing trouble or something... You ever get into any disputes with Renju doing this work? No way, he paid good money. I've never even gotten into an argument with the guy. I see. Um, talk to you again? Yeah, about Shoko. The victim prior to Renju? Mm-hmm. I believe Moma introduced me to her. Introduced? We were just having drinks. Shoko stopped by to say hello. Right. We didn't talk about anything. Mm-hmm. They're trying to give me the runaround. Naturally. Indeed. Date, I have determined that these individuals have nothing further to add. Makes sense. Even if they are involved, they will not volunteer any more information. We need solid evidence to move forward with the investigation. Fair. You're right. Date, a call from Lemniscate. No. Connected. Date, it's me. My receptionist. Um, you remember, like, how you said to call you if I would take game? Mm hmm. Well, he's here now, so I guess I'm calling you. Fair. Got it. I'm on my way. Where are you going? That's none of your concern. MoMA, Congressman Sejima, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'll come back soon. We'll swap drinking stories. You serious? Hmm. Let's go, Iva. Roger. Bye. To Lemon Escape. This is all really suspicious. Uh-huh. What is? Yes. Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. There's definitely something going on there. No shit. I agree. But I am not sure it is linked to the new Cyclops serial killings. We need to do further investigation. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm torn between scream like a little girl and roar like a lion. Oh man. <laughs> Let's go back a little girl. <laughs> Impossible. How did a jellyfish get in here? So shiny too. You utter idiot. Yeah. It's me. Renju? <laughs> Do I look like Renju? Maybe. Mizuki? It's me. Boss. Date, seriously. Then, are you mom? <laughs> Idiot. They must have increased your dosage too much. My dosage? Anyway, you're Iba, right? Why are you here, looking like that? I just thought I would protect myself. You seem lonely. Wow. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. Fair. You can't see me through your right eye, only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. You do realize I do that all the time, right? Hmm. By your appearance? Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. What's that about? 
What do you mean? Well, you don't usually look like that. You have a somnium form and another form. Oh, this? Yes, that. Why are you doing this now? I was bored last night, so... I see. Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. If you could do that, change it. I will not. Why not? Because I won't. Alright. <sighs> I'm gonna have to get used to this look. I fear you would eventually grow tired of the other form as well. I just wanted to change my look a little. Think of it as a haircut. Uh, pretty drastic haircut. Yeah. Some of them are suspicious. As I said earlier, I completely agree that they are suspicious. But there is nothing currently linking them to the case. Yeah. That's true. We have no established motive. Victims were displayed, tied up on a horse, hung from the ceiling. And their left eyes taken out. We still don't know why. It is possible that Shoko and Renju were disloyal to Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. They could have been killed and displayed as a warning. That would fit the current evidence. Huh, maybe. But it doesn't feel right. It was so related to the Kumakuras. I looked into that. Unfortunately, I did not find anything in our database that could connect the two. I see. However, I did discover some rumors on the internet. Most of them come across as gossip or conspiracy theories, but would you like to hear them regardless? Sure. Please. Mr. Sejima currently resides in Azabu. He lives in a mansion, a restored samurai castle. That's cool. But 20 years ago, So Sejima lived elsewhere, in the Kawasaki district to be exact. He lived there until he was 40 years old. The Sejima family owned a vast amount of real estate in the district. Adjusting for inflation, the land was valued above 30 billion yen. Jesus. The Sejima family sold off its holdings. Six months later, the incident occurred. The explosion at the chemical plant. This caused Kabasaki to become a restricted area. And of course, land prices fell drastically to less than one thirtieth their original value. Hmm. What are your thoughts? I don't have any. The timing is certainly suspicious. Ah, uh, damn, yeah, that too. To sell that amount of land just six months before it happened. Yeah. There is another interesting fact. After the accident, So Sejima purchased all of the land back for just one billion yen. Okay, that's fucked. So he's got 29 billion yen in his pocket and one billion yen of land. Correct. Despite the horrific accident, the Sejima family is no worse off. True. But I don't see the point of it. It's not like you got anything out of it. That would be true, but there is more to this story. There is another important fact. After the land prices in the Kabasaki region crashed... Oh boy, phone call. Oh, we will have to continue this conversation later. I am receiving a call from headquarters. Is this Special Agent Dante from Abyss? No. My name is Akasuka from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. Okay. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call earlier. Yeah. From a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. That's weird, but okay. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here. I'm known as number 89. Hmm. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shoko Nadami. Oh. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. Hmm. He will kill again, you know. Shocking. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought too. However, 
We got the call yesterday afternoon. And you're only now mentioning it. Before Renju was killed. Right. In other words. You're saying he predicted the second crime? Yeah, I think he did. That's why I thought I should contact you. Good idea. Thanks, Detective. Good luck. Hmm. Do you think there's anything to this? Probably. I don't know. Sunday, 5.59 p.m. Mount Lemon Escape. Oh, Date. No, oh, Oda. What's wrong? You look like you have a lot on your mind. Yeah. I just found out online. The corpse at Bloom Park. That was Renju's ex-wife, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was. So that... Was Mizuki's mom? You didn't know that already? Mizuki saw her own mom. You're not gonna believe what's next. And I just. I just left her. Yep. But I didn't know! Mm hmm. I knew her as Shoko Nadami. Her last name is different. That's okay. I didn't know that was Mizuki's mother. I want to apologize to her. Fair. I need to tell her that I'm sorry. Okay, um... Let's talk to the receptionist first, because we can. Uh... Do you want to get food sometime? Hey now, that's awfully aggressive. You're an alpha type, aren't you? I kind of like that. <laughs> Surprised no one else. I kind of like you. Oh. oh, but there is one little thing you should know about me. Don't tell me that you have a boyfriend. I'm a reptilian. What? Is that going to be a problem? Elaborate. What's a reptilian. A reptilian humanoid alien. They are said to be shapeshifters that take on human form. Yeah, that is definitely going to be a problem. Oh, too bad. Damn. Thank you for the call. No problem. After all, it means we get to see each other again. I'm glad. <laughs> I, I like that Oda isn't saying anything, but he's just glaring at Dante. Where is Iris? She's recording a podcast right now. Still. Looking at her schedule. It should end soon. Alright. You're cute. You get asked out a lot, don't you? I don't know why you're sitting here behind a desk. You should be an idol. <laughs> oh, thank you. But despite my looks, I am a bit too old to be an idol. I couldn't get into it now. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I turned 36 this year. Old, just kidding. <laughs> oh, his face. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this loser. <laughs> Anyways. You're kidding. <laughs> Alright, time to bug Oda, I guess. You kid. Uh, where have you been? Nowhere. Just doing my normal routine. Right. I don't know your normal routine. I went to a dojin store to look at the new releases. And I ate some ramen at Juro's, and then headed over to the PC cafe to browse threads. You know, normal. Uh-huh. If that's normal, I haven't had a normal day in my life. About Renji's case. Uh, I don't know anything. Right. I've only seen Renju a couple of times. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was possible to be this bad at lying. Though it is plainly obvious. I did a thermal check on Ota's body. Right. This is his current body temperature. Okay, that looks normal to me. I don't know. That's what I thought. Have you forgotten, Ota? You're my thrall. 
You don't want me to tell Iris your secret, do you? Huh? W wait, it's no big deal. I just... You better start talking. Okay. Nerd. About Renji's case. Last night, I was walking over to Sunfish Pocket. Convenient. And I saw Renju come out of the building. Uh-huh. Was he alone? Someone was with him. A man. Woman. Um. Hmm. Okay, look. I can tell you're trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? N no, it definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. Right. Got it. So Renju was with Iris. Hmm. Okay, fine. There's no point in hiding it, I guess. Mm -hmm. You're right. Renju came out of the building with Tessa. But Tessa has nothing to do with this! You don't know that, Odo. She wouldn't murder anyone. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Right. She's an idol. Idols don't kill people. You need to stop putting her on a pedestal. Tessa is a savior to me. The Tessa I know wouldn't hurt anyone. Great. Um, the savior. The first time I met her, I had a bad case of writer's block. Uh huh. And I saw all this awful negativity online, and I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. And it was the lowest point of my life. He is talking like a professional, though he hasn't published anything. Yeah. Then, by pure chance, I found a video of Tessa singing and dancing. And it made me realize something important. You don't have to care what people think, you know? Uh-huh. It took an 18-year-old to tell you that for you to realize? Come on, buddy. I know you're young, but you're not that young. If you do your best at what you believe in, your message will get through to people. That attitude is something all great creators need to have. After that, I became a huge ASET fan and got over my writer's block. And I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. A lot of otaku like me say that Tessa is their savior. She cheers them up when they're down. So there's no way Tessa can be involved in murder. Absolutely impossible. Uh-huh. Slow down. I didn't say Iris was the murderer. But do you suspect her? Not until you said something, not gonna lie. I need to hear her side of the story. If I do, I might find out she's totally innocent. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. But... Do it for Iris. What time did Renju and Iris leave the building? Around 6.15, I guess. Where did they go? I didn't see. They got into Renju's car and drove off. What did you do? I went inside Sunfish Pocket, but I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. I figured I would just go home. What happened? Oh. Hi. Date. Iris. Iris. There's something I need to ask you. Come with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. 8.23 p.m.
Iris, I'm going to ask you some questions. Please answer honestly. However, you do not have to say anything that might incriminate you. The right to remain silent? Yes, the right to remain silent. You're treating me like a criminal. You might be. Not exactly. I'm just looking for the truth. And I would appreciate your cooperation. You are pretty suspicious, Iris. Dusk. Dusk in the middle of the room. This is the camera used to record the interrogation. Shocking. Images captured by this camera are sent to the database in real time. Neat. It is later saved permanently on our servers. You can remotely control it as well. Neat. This is one of them, but others installed near the doorway. Uh, surveillance cams. And there are pipes on the walls of the room. Interesting. Oh, hey, it's Mirror. Hi, Mirror. Two-way Mirror. There's a small room on the other side of the mirror, but you can't see it from here. Hence it being a mirror. Okay, Iris. Mmm... What to ask first? I imagine we'll probably be able to ask all of these questions, but... Hmm... Let's start about the alibi. What were you doing from 7 to 9 last night? I was at home the whole time. You're sure? Yes. Mm-hmm. Iva, thermograph. There is no noticeable rise in Iris's body temperature. She isn't lying. I feel like temperature isn't a good way to gauge lying, but you know, go off. Not necessarily. We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. She is a performer. With that kind of confidence, her temperature wouldn't change. <laughs> I have Somnium Files, aka give Mizuki a break the game. Fair. <laughs> Renju's estimated time of death was 8 p.m. last night. If Iris' story is true, she couldn't have done it. There is another possibility. She's lying. Even if Iris was at home, she could have killed Renju. You mean... He is unfortunately kind of hot in a weird way. <laughs> Um, can I ask your mother about your alibi? I'll That's ask again. One. You are sure you were at home around 8 p.m. yesterday? Yes. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? You can, but there'd be no point. Why is that? My mom was at home. Uh-huh. She came back home early this morning. This morning? That's suspicious. Yeah. Where was she? I don't know. Hmm. You don't know. Come to think of it, Iris's mom had connections to Renju too. You think it's weirder than that? He's hot in a weird way and a conventional way, but the weird way is hotter. <laughs> I hate that I understand what you mean, but his he's not really my type, I'll be honest. I want his clothes, but... Hitomi did mention that yesterday. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. Right, I forgot about that. We've known each other for 20 years now. However, we have nothing to link her to the case. For now. But I am curious. What was Hitomi doing last night? Yeah. Ugh. When did you find out Renju was killed? When did you find out Renju was killed? This morning, on the news. Hmm. And you were with Renju last night? You didn't think to call the police and inform them of this? Oh, sorry. Is that something you're supposed to do? Hmm. I had a podcast to record this morning, so... If I went to the police, I'd be late. And... 
that would cause everyone a lot of trouble, you know? Hmm. You used to work at Sunfish Pocket, right? I heard you used to work at Sunfish Pocket. That's right. How long? A little over a year. Hmm. Working there that long, you're probably pretty familiar with the equipment. Yeah, I guess. About the surveillance camera, right? Because that was. What about off. the surveillance camera? I guess not off, but just had nothing. Do you know where those tapes were stored? What are you trying to say? Is it a story true? Here's what Oda told me. Yesterday around 6.15 p.m., you and Renju came out of the Sunfish Pocket Building. Is that true? Yes. Mr. Okira called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish Pocket, ASAP. Around what time was that? 5 p.m., I think. I got ready, then headed over there. I guess I got there about an hour later. Date, I checked her call history. At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to Iris from Renju's phone. What were you doing with Renju? What were you doing with Renju? He asked me about a job. What kind of job? He rented out Sunfish Pocket for a party and he wanted me to MC. He said that it was an important party and that a lot of big shots were going to be there. Hmm. But the girl he asked to do it originally got sick and couldn't come. But I turned him down. Why? Because I'm just an internet idol. I've never done any MCing before. Especially with important people being there. What did you do after you turned him down? What did you do after you turned him down? I left with Mr. Okira. At 6.15 p.m. That must have been when Ota saw me. And after that? I asked Mr. Okira to take me home in his car. I got home at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. I was home the rest of the night. What do you think, Iva? I cannot detect any contradictions. However, her story appears almost too organized. Yeah... Human memory is ambiguous. Tell me about it. Her use of exact times leads me to be suspicious. That's true. Am I a suspect? Maybe. It's not like that. It's fine, Date. It's true that I met with Mr. Okiura yesterday, but how do I put this? It's impossible that I'm the killer. Why? I'm a teenage girl. That's not how that works. Mr. Okiura is a fully grown man. And? Oh, she's got a point. A girl like her could have stabbed, poisoned, or shot him dead, but strangling? Poisoned him, then strangled? Hello? No, it's still possible. You see... Oh boy, clues. Um, sedation. The autopsy discovered a high concentration of benzodiazepine in Renju's body. Yep. This drug is commonly used as a sedative. Yep. It is likely that Renju was in a state of compromised consciousness before his death. Yep. A heavy concentration of sedatives were discovered in Renju's body. Renju was practically in a coma before he died. He wouldn't have struggled. So, Iris could have strangled him. Yep. Wait a minute. Even if I was somehow able to kill him, the rest of it is impossible. The rest of it? Like hanging up his body? How do you know that? Was it on the news? If so, weird, but... What do you mean? It's all over the news. That's true. Renju weighed about 160 pounds. Even if she used her entire body weight, I don't think she could have hauled him up. Right. It would be hard for her to do it with her strength alone. But with a little ingenuity, it could be done. Ingenuity? Um... Where could Benji's body be lifted up to the ceiling? The elevator record? Yeah, because only- my first thought was like the wires, but that's not here, so... Maybe the oil drum? 
I'm so glad this isn't timed. Sunfish Pocket is located on the second floor. Yeah, okay. According to the records, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, the elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55 p.m., Wait. the total weight detected in the elevator was approximately 310 pounds. You'd cry if these parts were timed. Me too. Okay, so I don't think it's the elevator record. Um, definitely not the watch. Is it the oil drum? The oil drum inside Sunfish Pocket. Mm -hmm. The type that has a lid you can open with about a 200 liter capacity. Empty, it weighs approximately 44 pounds. The autopsy determined that Renju vacated his bowels from muscle relaxation upon death. However, no trace of this was found on the corpse or at the scene. This means that it is highly likely Renju was killed elsewhere and moved to where he was found. I generally don't know which one to pick. Because I don't feel like it's any of these, but I don't think there's- yeah, These are the only clues I have to work with. Renju's estimated TOD is yesterday, around 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Numerous hemorrhages in the blood vessels of the throat and face indicate strangulation. The weapon used to commit the murder was some kind of twisted cloth. The criminal likely wrapped it around Renju's neck and pulled. Renju then suffocated. The more precise cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. In short, Renju was strangled from behind with some kind of cloth or rope. I know this watch. It's Renju's favorite. I found it inside an oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. That means... Because, like, the oil drum was definitely used to bring his body up to the second floor, but I don't think that has anything to do with it being lifted up to the ceiling. But I don't think any of these do. Is Renju in the oil drum? No. Not anymore, anyway. Renju's corpse was discovered at the Maid Cafe Sunfish Pocket. Hanging from a beam on the ceiling by a wire. He was found over the counter. The wire was attached on both ends. One end was attached to a hook that was embedded inside Renju's jaw. The other end was attached to beer kegs found on the floor. The kegs hold approximately 20 liters of liquid. They weigh approximately 55 pounds each. Okay, I think this is the thing I need to show because it mentions the thing I was thinking of. Hopefully there's no penalty for being wrong. I think it's that. It went like this. Yeah. First, Renju was laid out on the counter. Yeah, okay. Next, the wire was thrown over the beam and connected to the hook in his jaw. Then all you need to do is put the three beer kegs on the counter. You think a teenage girl could have done that? Yeah. I'm sure it was hard. The kegs weighed 55 pounds each. But that's not impossible, even for a teenage girl. I guess it isn't impossible. After that, you get on top of the counter, hook the other end of the wires to the kegs, and then, what do you think happens if you kick the kegs off the counter? The three kegs weighed 165 pounds altogether. Renju weighs five pounds less. Hmm, I guess that would make it possible. Physics. But... But there is one more thing. What? Considering the state of the crime scene, it's clear Renju was killed elsewhere and brought to where we found him. Ah, oh, this is the question of how was it brought over. I know the answer to this one, the oil drums. If Iris is the culprit, how did she move the body? Oil drum. Hey! I know, I know. You're going to say you couldn't have moved a 160-pound body. Unfortunately for her, she could have. How? Oil kegs. Oh, well, not oil kegs. The oil drum. This guy has something to do with it. Ah, uh, but I need more to support my theory. The watch.
Do you know what this is? It's Renju's favorite watch. This was discovered inside an empty oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Hey, Date, I know you're on a roll right now, but could you please report things like that according to protocol? Yeah, yeah. What are you trying to say? I'm saying that it wouldn't be so hard to move a body if it were in a cylinder. You would just have to roll it. So you're saying Renju's body was moved inside the drum, which is how the watch came off. But the suspect didn't notice it. I'm not saying anything for sure. Just pointing out that it's possible. I didn't do it! You don't even have any witnesses! If I were rolling an oil drum in the middle of the street, people would have noticed! You could have put it in a car and driven it. I don't have a license! That doesn't stop people from driving all the time. Doesn't mean you can't drive. Yeah. Even an AI can drive nowadays. Are you mocking me? Maybe. Don't make sudden outbursts like that. You insulted me! Just be quiet. Um... <laughs> Don't worry about Who it. Who are you talking Don't worry to? about it. Anyway, Iris, you weigh about 105 pounds, right? W where is this coming from? If only you weighed more. Or less. That is none of your business. No, I mean that your weight is relevant to the case. Yeah. If the oil drum was used to transport the corpse, then the possibility of the suspect being around 105 pounds is extremely likely. Why do you say that? Because the elevator record... We need three pieces of evidence total. Yeah, there are others. Renji's weight. This isn't enough. We need another clue. The oil drum's weight. Math. Iris, on which floor is Sunfish Pocket located? On the second floor. That's right. So, I checked the elevator records. Before the corpse was discovered, the elevator only stopped at the second floor once. At 8.55 p.m. And we discovered that the total cargo weight on the elevator was about 310 pounds. Renju weighed 160. The oil drum weighs 44. Together, that's about 205. Subtracting that from 310, this doesn't look good. Why are you... Now this obviously doesn't prove you're the murderer. A lot of people weigh 105 pounds. Or someone could have put 105 extra pounds in the elevator, sent it up, and taken the stairs. Mm. To throw us off the trail. However... Date, stop. Iris is acting strange. Yep. Don't turn around. Why not? Just stay put. Keep your eyes on the wall. Hmm. Weird, but okay, I guess. There are several cameras in this room. Mm -hmm. Two surveillance cameras installed at the corners of the ceiling, and one camera on a tripod. Mm -hmm. I hacked each to gain access to their recordings. Okay. Look at this. She's fidgeting around. Is she doing something under the desk? That's what it looks like. But we need to confirm something before we confront her. We need to know that she's in fact doing something under the desk. Without turning around? Yes. How would I do that? Um... How would I do that? That is a good question. Can't tell from this angle. Can I change the angle? Oh, I can. Fancy technology. Yes, it is you. Can I switch to this camera output?
Hmm. Iris, what are you thinking? What is that thing? Hey, answer me, Iris. She's definitely hiding something, Date. No oh, shit. Sink with her. Oh boy. Iris is experiencing remsense. Medication is working perfectly. How about it, Date? Think you can do it? Not a problem. Get it started. The time limit is six minutes. So before time is up... I know. Then, let's begin. I think they dropped her peachy. Between the imply time skip and the drugs, yeah. They gave her some soap or roll. What is this place? Thank you for your contribution to the challenge. It looks depressing. How is this related to Iris? Unknown, but there must be a connection. Iris, what are you hiding? Somnium scan, activate! I think the main things that get me about the Zero Escape sound effects is because they're like DS games, you know? Uh, sinking in the vein. Discover Iris's secret. Mysterious room, videos, and a strange device. You may be able to find the truth. That's the goal. Look at the blood. There's the doors behind us. Um... I don't see where there's blood. Watch the murder. Doors, doors, doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A double door. Mm, tackle or open it. I'll just open it. Okay, I should have. It doesn't it. open. We don't have to worry about it. Okay. A CRT TV. Hit or spin the dial. Either way, it's two times death. I... I don't think I should do either of those things, actually. I don't know what two times death means. Um, look at the blood. Hi. Cannot interact with this. What? Oh, there you go. Okay. Um. I think I have to do something with the TV. Okay. A CRT TV. Mhm. Mm hmm. To hit it or to spin the dial? That is the question. You would spin the dial funny. I was thinking about hitting it. 
Fixing it by hitting it is an old-fashioned approach. And? Well, this is an old-fashioned object, so... Mouse. Oh. Dead mouse. What was that just now? A child's drawing of a rat. Iris must have drawn it. It is not yet possible to determine that. Let's continue the investigation. There is much to interact with. Oh boy, is that a gun? Hit the mouse. <laughs> Negative Timmy. You picked up a Timmy that has a negative effect. Negative Timmies can multiply multiply time or force you to use them. If you pick one up, be careful. Ah. Okay. That's what that is. Gun. Five minutes left, Dante. A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. Uh ba 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 Remove, shoot, look down the barrel. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just shoot it because it's less time. I do not see any bullets inside. Just try it. All right, I'll give it a shot. Literally. Heh. <laughs> As I thought, this will not work. We need a bullet. Okay. Body mirror. Mm. Let's punch it. Are you sure I can break this mirror? Doesn't hurt to try. No, I don't think you have the strength to break it. Then why did you ask me to, pervert? What? Just punch it, and I'm not a pervert. You see? It won't break. What was the point of that? Waste time, I guess. Um, Four minutes. Shit. A full body mirror. Let's talk to it. Iba, what are you doing in a place like this? I'm taking care of Date. He's so troublesome. Oh, I understand. He can't do anything without you, can he? Yeah. Cut it out. Okay. Well, that was a waste of time. Um. Three minutes, Date. Okay, listen. I am trying my best. I'm not very good. I see many objects in the room. Uh huh. Um, Somnios can be so hard. Yeah, I think, I think the game's broken. I think the game crashed, actually. Yep, nope, this reeks of game that just crashed. Can't do anything. Uh-oh. Rut row. Good thing it has autosave. You had a Somnium freeze on you like three times, never forget to save all. <laughs> Now, at least we can save the time that I wasted just walking around this desolate room instead of going straight to the TV. Okay, now we have a lot more time to work with, which is good. To be safe, let's do a cute little save. Just in case the game's like, you know what, I'm gonna break again. I see many objects in the room. Hmm. <laughs> what to do? What to do? Let's investigate the TV. Me thinks. Probe. It appears to be a frog, a child's painting. TV because frog. So true. Let's hope it's not dangerous, or you might croak. Date. Was that supposed to be funny? I mean, unfortunately, it was a little funny. No, I was just thinking about the meaning of the painting. Uh huh. 
There does not appear to be a particular meaning. I agree. Mm -hmm. A shelf. Various things have been placed on it. I don't think smelling will be helpful at all, so I think investigating the bottle will be our best bet. Well, the smelling can only be so. Meh, let's just investigate the bottle. Uh. Okay. What? The explosions appear to have stopped. Uh huh. The explosions made the room change. A oh boy, hook. This is a dangerous dream, but we must continue. Blew up a frog. <laughs> I mean, not wrong. Reference. Three minutes, Date. Operating table. Doors. Another TV. That seems important. An analog TV. Mmm. I gotta hit it again. Understood. Order floor. So true. Hmm. What was that? That was creepy. Yeah. I nearly pissed my pants. Mm, good for you, Date. Okay, well that wasn't really particularly helpful. Um And we only have so much time. An operating table. Um Let's perform surgery. Timmy will not be used. Proceed. Oh, um... No. I feel like it's the correct thing to do. Fuck it. Surgery? For whom? Figure it out. Just act it out. Act it out? This is not a children's playtime. Nope. It might help reproduce a memory. I'm on a medical dragon team. Hmm. Something has spawned. Want to check it out? Oh shit, fuck. Time's running out. A retro TV. Um bah, bah, bah. Hit it. <laughs> what on earth is a medical dragon team, hi but great question. That child's voice is creepy. And hearing that laugh in this situation? It is unusual. Date, we're out of time. Yep, fuck. Damn, what the hell is this place? Let's retry. Um... Let's start from lock one. I'll leave the gun alone because it doesn't. We know a little bit enough about it right now. Um, let's go to the medicine shelf though because we know we gotta I do see shit many here. Objects in the room. Um, oh shit, we only have the two times thing. Guess we're s shit. Smelling, I guess. 
there is a sweet smell, like syrup or almonds. Oh boy. Well, it's either a sweetener or... Possibly nitroglycerin. Be careful. Because nitroglycerin explodes even from slight impacts, it is usually mixed with acetone to lower the sensitivity. I see. Acetone, huh? I did not expect Iris to be aware of how to handle such dangerous chemicals. Okay, well now that's... Uh... Five minutes left, Otto. A shelf. Various things have been placed on it. I know we have to investigate the bottle to proceed, but should I still investigate the TV? Probably not, right? But we can make investigating the bottle a lot faster now, so... There's that. I'll leave that TV alone. It says tear and stab it, but that definitely had to do with the performing surgery and the new TV appeared. So let's... Yeah, of course. Let's try turning the dial, I guess. I cannot change the channel. Okay. You have one minute left. Shit. Time's up. Well, um. No, this is the point where we don't have enough time. This game is too I big for like you. Yeah, yeah. Medical Dragon Team. Manga reference. Just a locker. Oh, oops. I meant to use a timey timey thing. I heard or a metallic sound, like gear spinning. Is there something inside? Be careful, Iva, just in case. Roger. You have one minute left. Uh, shoot, dude. Where's the other thing that spawned in? Gas canister. A common gas canister. <laughs> okay, let's kick it. Oh dear. Are you okay? Uh, it hurts. I might not be able to stand for a while. Don't give up. I believe in you. I believe that you are more of a sadist than you let on. <laughs> okay, well that was a waste of time. Um Time's up. <laughs> This one's rough. I have to restart. Okay, fine. You can load that save. And... I did forget about that save that I made, I'll be honest, but it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, like, if I can save more seconds where I can, I will definitely try. Um... Okay, I definitely have more time this time. Sick. Okay. Still at this point where I'm not sure what I need to do. Tear and stab it? Tear and stab what? The reference book? I haven't looked at that yet. It appears to be a butterfly reference book with pictures! It has to be this because of the TV that showed the butterfly getting gripped. God damn it. <sighs> Throw it. Go fly! It disappeared. Like in quantum mechanics. When you touch a wall, your hand has an almost impossibly small chance of going through. I don't think that's what's going on, Dante. You are in a dream world, but... In this Somnium, it appears such phenomena will happen regularly. Is Iris familiar with quantum mechanics? I don't believe so. You have less than two minutes, Dante. Hurry. Wait, that wasn't... Oh, hello. A butterfly reference book. Oh, shit, I meant to use the time thing. This is a reference book of butterflies and moths. Is it Iris's? Unknown. There is no name written on it. Fuck. 
Um, I don't know what to do, man. It's an operator. Perform surgery again. Uh, can perform. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Again? I know it's just pretend surgery, but please do your best. This will require focus. Um. I cannot simply follow the textbook. Uh huh. I see. I'm out of time though, so. Drums, TV, that thing. Is it a human torso? Looks like it. A number of items have been added to the Somnium. We should be nearing the end. Problem. Time. Date! Yeah. Damn! What the he- Okay. Good to know that was the thing to do, though. Start from lock two. And still won't use the time thing. So I'm gonna be out of time again anyway. Shit. I think I might just have to take the L. I see many and just investigate the bottle for 70 seconds. And I still don't have enough time for it. Shit. I guess like the main problem is I can only I can't use any timeies on the perform surgery and those are like time consuming, like very time consuming. So I wonder if things are like just different enough on the other side and that's why I can't clear it after hitting the CRT. But I'll just start this thing from the beginning and try turning the dial instead of hitting the CRT and see if that makes a difference. Because that might be what makes the difference here. difficult to believe, but these are the faces of the victims of the original Cyclops killer. I see. What? What is going on here? Iris, what are you hiding? We should continue. There are more objects to inspect now. up there now. Interesting. Let's start with a torso, I guess. A torso with a head. If it has a head, is it still called a torso? Great question. What would you call it? A mannequin? I don't know. Oh, uh, hmm. I guess we're hitting it because it takes the least amount of time. Special happens. You don't have the muscle mass. You need to do some training. What would be the point of that? I do not have muscles. That's what I just said. <laughs> I cannot wait for the day I have enough muscle to punch you in the face. It will be splendid. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Let's try shaking it. I guess. That's quite the face, Iba. He 
even my consciousness is being affected. I was really seeing some frustration here, yeah. While I was unconscious, the room changed. Okay. I'm tired of this. But we have no choice but to investigate. Hmm. Beat it to death. Four minutes. Wow. A full body mirror. Punch. Are you sure I can break this mirror? No, I don't think you have the strength to break it. Then why did you ask me? To Just punch it and. See? It won't break. What was the point of that? Okay. Well, I said beat it to death, so I, I had a feeling maybe, but I guess not. A drug bottle that holds some kind of liquid. I don't think we should chug it, no. Um Oops, I meant to use the time. There thingy. is no label. I cannot determine what is inside. It's probably dangerous. I agree. We should not touch it if we do not know what it is. Even insomnium, some things should not be done. Okay, well that was a waste of time. An old television. Hmm. Let's see. Ah! Oh boy. What is all this? That wasn't it either, damn it. Probably not the gun. An operating table. Nothing's happening. How disappointing. Damn. Thought it might trigger a Perhaps you should abandon that. Okay. So there's something else here then. Date, we're at Damn. Oh. What the Okay. Man, this one's rough. <laughs> Let's go back from block one so that way I can shed some time. I haven't tried out the gun. Let's take a look at that, I guess. A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. Jump, investigate. Um jump. Weekly shonen? Don't say it. I did the best I could. I am not a cyborg, and thus I cannot reach that height. This is not my fault. Nobody's blaming you. Okay, well that was in it. Um, shoot then. I guess not shoot. Um, just need to beat it to death. A full. Maybe. Do we need to talk to it? Because it says timing will be used. Wait, let's try that. Can you talk? Can you talk? What? Don't copy me! What? Don't copy me! Pervert! Date is a pervert! Pervert! Date is a pervert! Why do I have to get called a pervert? Good question. And twice! <sighs> Damn it. Three minutes, Date. Can you punch it again? A full body mirror. Nope. Okay. <sighs> There isn't really anything you can beat to death here, though, right? You have less than two minutes, Date. Yeah, Hurry. yeah. An old. Mm -hmm. ah! Iris. An old tel. I can't hit it again. Maybe I could An try old... turning the dial. Oh. 
I guess I should have thought that of that sooner. Oops. That video showed the face of a victim of the original Cyclops killer. It appeared to be the second victim. What is going on? Great question. Iris has something to do with the first Cyclops case? Unknown. I do not have enough information. Guess that means we have to investigate more. Indeed. Did I leave myself enough time? I'm not sure. The oil drum, shelf, and another torso have been added. Hmm. Let's go. I'm still saying to beat it to death. Okay. I'm not gonna have enough time, probably. Can I retry? Now that we know what to do from here. Still being told to beat it to death, so that only means we have to go to this torso and beat it. A torso similar to a fashion mannequin. Mm hmm. Uh, punch, probably. Okay. That's fine. I didn't get hit, did I? There is no effect on your body, Date. Hit my soul hard enough. <laughs> While you were unconscious, a television and an old book appeared. I want to get off this ride. Fair. If my calculations are correct, it will be over soon. Let's hope you're right. TV's right here. Perfect. An old fashioned TV. You have one minute left. was the third victim of the original Cyclops killer. Why does Iris know that? There is a possibility that she saw it online or on TV. She even reproduced the circumstances of the killing. Would her imagination explain that? Mm -hmm. Date, we have no direct evidence. For now, we must continue investigating. Right. Shoot to death. Where's the gun? What do you mean, time's up? A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. Um. It is a pistol. It. Why would this? What's this? The trigger. There is a stick in the hole of the trigger guard. That's suspicious. Yeah. Okay. We're out of time. Damn! What the? This one's so hard. Damn. Like I know I'm not the brightest, but damn. Okay. Okay. I'm going to look up a guide at this point, cause yeah, man. I'll go back to the original route I was going down. Just cause that's the route I was originally going down. Okay. Let's restart from the beginning. I need to open the locker. Something has spawned. That was close. If this were the Delta Princess, I would have been stabbed. I don't get that reference, but okay. Why was it booby trapped? Good question. But we need that knife, so. I do not see anything else inside. Would you like me to examine the knife? Good idea. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. The knife that flew out of the locker. Like this? Yep, like that. Mm. What? I see. I only threw it lightly. Sure.
Okay, I guess the bullet's gonna be in the oil An drum. Oil drum, television, yep. and torso. Yep. Good job. I think I understand. I'm starting to see the picture. I do not yet understand it. I kind of get it, but that's just me. There's the oil drum. Hang on. Why am I dumb? There it is. An oil drum. Oh, shit, okay. Hmm. Mm hmm. Pixels. What does this mean? Um, great question. Bullets? Take they them. might be used for something. Let's keep them. Yeah, I wonder what they could be used for. Totally not a gun. Or, or, uh, go, 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 go. Dante, you've got less than yeah, I know, seconds. I know. Shh, 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 shh. A revolver. Is it real? It doesn't matter. Can we use the bullets we found earlier? This could work. I'll try shooting it. Uncomfortable. How did this get weirder? Great question. Readers result of insomnia ever. <laughs> but hey, we done. We don't. We did it. I had to look up a guide, but hey, we did it. <laughs> What happened during that Somnium? A lot. We saw the whole thing on the monitor. But we're just as confused as you are. Fair. Well, upon further reflection, it is not so strange. Uh, what? Dreams are developed outside of our conscious will. Okay. When you sink into Somnium, there is no guarantee of what you will discover. And? What about the figure? Could have been Iris herself. Maybe. That is a possibility. The sinker sees the subject's dream from the third person. That means that Iris... Is gay. She must have met So Sejima somewhere. We did see Congressman Sejima in there. We saw that shadow kiss him too. Did that happen in reality? Why has he got tits, Not necessarily. Though? I'm sure you've had dreams of kissing celebrities and porn stars, right? No, actually. The first part, yes, but the second part, no. You sure about that? Anyway, you know what I mean. A dream is not made up entirely of memories. I would sure hope not. It can include things outside of your memory, like TV. Or movies. Even if the figure was supposed to be Iris, her smooch insomnium does not necessarily reflect her actions in reality. True. You can't use the word smooch. Yes, I can. Are you implying you're a porn star boss? <laughs> Why not? 
So we don't know if Iris and So are acquainted. That's right. Because So is a celebrity of sorts. It's possible she just saw him on TV or online. Hmm. We were silent for a time. While I was deep in my thoughts, I heard Peter speak. Date, Iris is about to wake up. No oh boy. Got it. I gave my short reply and headed to the sink room next door. Putting me to sleep when I wasn't expecting it? Yeah. You cops are more rough than I thought. You signed a consent form before you came in here, didn't you? You forced me to sign it. I mean, Date wasn't here. That's, or, no, he was. Never mind. I'm stupid. Time skipped through my brain off. Anyway, Iris, I have some things I want to ask you. What? You know, stuff and things. Um. Do you remember your dream earlier? Dream? What are you talking about? Okay, that means no. The subject of the sink does not experience Somnium as you do. Iris would not know about it. Okay, well, do you know a politician named So Sejima? Yeah, I know his name and face. I've never met him. Hmm. You haven't? I'm just an internet idol. It's not like I have connections to politicians or anything. About the Nile message with Oda. Iris, let me ask one thing. The message Ota sent you on Nile. I won't tell anyone about that thing. What is that thing? I don't know. Right, totally. Very convincing. Ota's the one who wrote that. Hmm. You should ask him. Iba, Ota's phone is still broken, right? But he definitely sent that Nile message. You can use line on desktop, Date. Ota purchased a new phone in Akihabara yesterday. Okay. With the same number? Yes. Call it. Connected. Hey, it's Konami Date. Where are you? Ota, I know you can hear me. At home. I'm at home. Got it. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Is Tessa still at the police station? Yes. If you want me to talk, release her. Criminal procedure law number 198. Persons may refuse to heed a summons or leave the supervision of the police at any time unless they are arrested or detained. Tessa isn't a suspect. According to Article 223, this applies to all persons of interest. Mal, well, look at him. He knows how to research things. You haven't issued an arrest warrant for Tessa, right? So if you don't release her right now, you are violating the law. <sighs> Damn. Do we have a deal? You want my testimony, right? Bring Tessa here, and I promise I'll tell you everything I know. Oh boy. This kid is starting to get on my nerves. Fair. So, what are you going to do? Shit. And that's a Matsushita Diner. Iris, come with me. We're going to Matsushita Diner. Were you talking to Ota? No. Yeah, telepathically. <laughs> right, he doesn't have a phone. <laughs> Fucking nerd. I have special powers. Anyway, let's go. Peachy, there's no way he's gonna interrogate Oda there at his house. Like, come on. Tessa! Thank you, Ota. It's thanks to you. That's right. It's not like you can do whatever you want just because you're the police. Maybe not. But you better keep your promise. Nerd. Um... Where is your mother? That is a good question. She's in the living room in the back. I think she's watching TV or something. Okay. Okay. Did you come all the way here just to ask me that? <laughs> no. Um, 
Guess you bought a new cell phone. Yeah, I did. Yesterday in Akihabara. Did I keep you waiting? I was nervous thinking about Tessa. Yeah. I couldn't stop imagining what dirty, perverted dojin plots you were acting out with her. <laughs> as long as I am in your eye socket, that won't happen. Wouldn't happen anyway. About that thing of the Nile message. So let's hear it. What is that thing? That thing? Don't play dumb. You sent that message to Iris. Oh, um... Date, will you do me a favor? We already did you one by bringing Tessa over here, dude. What? There's a picture on the counter, right? Yeah, and? I want you to take a good look at it. The photo. Yes, the photo. <sighs> God damn it, I knew it. Where did you spawn a frying pan from? Have fun with that, Dante, for we are going to end here for the night. Can't get over those hero escape sound effects. Um. No. Oh, okay. Cliffhanger. Yeah, cliffhanger. I feel like it is a good pace of, like, just days at a time, though. God, that Somnium was rough. Um, still enjoyed myself despite struggling. Um, struggling TM because I don't have the brain cell. It's like only my turn with the brain cell half the time. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed as well. Hopefully, I won't need uh, to pull up a guide too often, but we'll see brain no work but um thank you guys so much for joining me i really appreciate it i really appreciate the support especially when i was just struggling in the somnium uh, hopefully the rest of them aren't like that hopefully i'll have a better brain cell that was rough though we'll see yeah that'll do it until next time be it next week while i'll play more of this or tomorrow or some other time in between i'll catch you all then bye bye and good night